All right. So because I be on social media, they're all I always be seeing. Where are the good men? Where are the good women? There's no good men. There's no good women. Where are they at? And uh, I just wanted to tell y'all, there are good men and women. And this video is kind of like a remake of my first two older videos that I did, uh, which is you know where are the good men? Where are the good women? And I'm also going to talk about preferences because that's what really be keeping y'all stuck is you have preferences and they're still good men and women if people don't meet those preferences but basically the first part where I talk about the, you know there are good men and women is basically kind of like going to be a recap of both those videos the first reason why a lot of y'all can't find good men and women is because a lot of y'all are not good men and women and so you can't good men and women are going to stay away from you when you're not good men and women because when you like you're not a good dude when you're out here being super aggressive toward women bothering them mean thinking you're better than they are uh doing any kind of physical abuse verbal abuse or any of that you're not a good dude same thing with women if you're always argumentative gaslighting people acting selfish uh thinking you're you know better than any in everybody like you're not a good woman so it's going to be kind of hard for you to attract good people when you're not good people and the second point uh for the dudes is some of y'all especially if you want like women that you know you want to submit to you because i always hear dudes talk about that and you want them to follow your lead you got to be making money you got to have some kind of job really you got to have some kind of job but because of the day and age you got to be making like a good amount of money because my thing is you can't be broke i mean you can be broke and be with women but like i said you want the type of women that's going to be um following your lead care for you nurture for you doing stuff you you got to be having a job and making some decent money because she's got to be able to trust you that you can provide and be a leader you know and some of the for the women a lot of y'all don't be feminine you want a man to buy you stuff do stuff for you well you got to be feminine you got to be nurturing you got to be helpful supportive not selfish so like both of those things for the the men and the women like that's that's what you got to do and then the third point is some of y'all just don't know how to pick good men and women that's why you don't think there is none out here you know you're a man and you're picking the women that are gold diggers only fan instagram model type women social media raised women and then you be mad that oh i can't believe these women only want money or women that just judge you based on your looks and care i mean looks and not your character and you be picking the type of women that yeah they got looks but they don't got no kind of character then you be mad because she cheated or she's a lame or whatever and it's like well look who you look who you pick bro <laughs> like i said you can't you can't expect integrity out of instagram models and like social media raised women that don't that don't make no sense you can't blame the women for that like you don't get mad at a snake for biting you but that's what y'all be doing. Y'all really be mad at women out here that don't be having morals and stuff. And then I'm like, look how they dress. Look how they talk. Look how they act. Duh, what did you expect? Same thing with the women. Y'all be out here dating dudes, hood dudes that are super aggressive. You know, are super quick to be angry and be physical with y'all. You know, or you got dudes that's known to be like player types or cheater types. And you still think, well, I'm going to be different. I'm going to change them. No, you're not. <laughs> Like, look at, look at, look at the type of dudes you be going after. Then you be mad talking about all dudes are dogs. All dudes are narcissists manipulative. Look what kind of dudes you be going after, bro. Like, that's on you. Like, like I said, you don't get mad at a hungry tiger for wanting to eat meat. So, like, that's, that's how it is. So, y'all got to do better when it comes to picking people and just being better people you know and that's pretty much the summary of my like oldest two videos and that's that's part one of like why y'all can't find quote-unquote good men and women now the second part is because i i blame this part on social media because y'all have preferences and some of them jones i ain't gonna hold you some of them preferences be weird some of them are normal but some of them jones be weird you think there's no good and good men or women which is weird to me so what I mean by that is like you'll have preferences like oh I only want to date a good a dude for, if you're a woman I want to date a dude that's got make six figures or he's got to be six feet tall or have abs right and if they don't meet that preference you're just like oh there, there was no good men no there are good men 
They just don't meet your preferences. There's good men that don't make six figures. That's good men that aren't six feet tall. There's good men that aren't super muscular in shape. But because they don't meet your quote unquote preferences. Ah, well, they're not a good man. No, that's weird. Same thing with y'all dudes. Y'all be like, oh man, I need to meet a good woman. Um, but she need to have this kind of breast and this kind of blood and she got to look this certain way. And it's just like, no, there's good women that don't look like that. Like there's, there's tons of women that are good women and they don't look anything like that, but because she don't look the way you want, ah, she, they're not a good woman. And that's, that's really how y'all sound, especially, this is especially a big deal in the church. Cause I see it in the church all the time. And anytime I hear it. Especially, I hear more of the women complaining more than I do the dudes, but I still see the dudes complaining too, but like, they be like, oh, there's no good men in the church, and I just be like, bro, be quiet, bro. I be wanting to roll my eyes. I'm like, is there no good men, or is there no good godly men that meet your standards? Because you be having worldly standards. Like I said, you be wanting dudes that be six feet tall, look a certain way, super jack, and if they don't hit those standards oh well they're not a good man no that there are good men they just don't hit those standards like especially women in the church like if you go to a church that's like less than like 300 people i can kind of see i can kind of understand why you'd be like oh there's no good men in the church but y'all a lot of y'all be going to packed churches churches would be like 500 plus more people there's men up in there there's single men up in there i guarantee you there's single men up in there like i said they just don't hit your physical preferences or your standard preferences or whatever preferences that you got you know oh i only date a certain type of man like i only date a certain race or you know i only date a certain man that dresses like this that don't mean he's not a good man just because he don't meet those what you should be saying is what the people used to say before social media oh you're not my type you're still a good dude you're just not my type same thing with the with the dudes you'd be like oh there's no good godly women because which is crazy y'all be looking at these women and thinking they should look like the world oh she need to be dressing like this and have this kind of body it's just like bro if she gonna be a godly woman she not gonna look like the world bro but the thing is y'all focus you focused on looks and that's the problem you focus on how the woman looks and you judging based on worldly standards and then you think oh well she don't look like this type of woman so she's not a good woman no <laughs> she is she just don't meet your preferences and it's okay to have preferences i said my thing is just don't there's people that don't meet those preferences because i know for me for example right i don't date single um single mothers i'm not gonna date single mothers uh, that's just my preference i'm not doing it like i don't got kids so i'm not gonna date somebody with kids but i'm not gonna sit here and bash single mothers because that'd be horrible like just because somebody doesn't meet your preference doesn't mean you bash them and but i'll let people know like nah you're a single mom i won't date you and that the problem is people don't do that people will sit there and they'll bash somebody that's not their preference and they're like yeah well i don't date short dudes that's fine but they'll be like uh short dudes are midgets and they're insecure and they're this and that and that's the problem same thing is like if you don't want to date let's say if because there's people out here that's weird like that like oh if you're a black woman you're like i don't date black men and it's just like that's fine you can have that i think it's personally weird but you have that preference but the problem is then when you be like well black men are thugs and they're this and they're that same thing with dudes that be like i don't date black women Okay, that's fine, but then they were like, black women are ghetto, they have attitudes, they have, th that's when it becomes a problem. And so, I feel like social media has made it okay to, like, diss people that don't meet your preference. And to me, that's, that's bad. <laughs> that's, that's an issue we have, uh, especially, um, like I said, on social media. Not saying it don't happen in real life, because it do, but I do think social media sometimes exaggerates a lot of, like, real life things. So, things that do happen in real life, I feel like is more exaggerated on social media but yeah like like i said there's people out here there's good people out here there's good women there's good men out here they're just good men and women that don't meet your preference the problem is what you need to do is be more specific what you need to do is be a little bit more open-minded and be like okay well that person's a good person they just don't meet my preference because that's what i do i'll see women i'll be like oh this woman seems like seems like a good woman she's just not my type and that's and i feel like we could get back to that it'd be a lot easier for a lot of people because it's like now nah, you're a good woman you're a good dude you're just not my type you know I, there are certain things like for me for example i need somebody that because of like my dreams and goals and like what i want to do and how i kind of want to help people and stuff i'm gonna need a woman to like kind of have uh dreams and goals that are similar to mine or for example personality i'm more introverted so i would like a, a woman that's a little bit more extroverted so if I meet a woman that's, you know, a little bit more, that's basically introverted like me, it's not really going to work out too much, you know, 
or like I have a certain preference with how certain women look. <laughs> Uh, you know, I like I don't discriminate against women, but because I'm black, I prefer to date black women. But like, you know, there's there's certain types of there's certain type of women that I'm like, eh, that's not really my type of woman. But I'm not gonna diss that type of woman just because I see a woman that's like that. And I'm not gonna say what type of woman it is, but <laughs> I'm not gonna diss that type of woman because my thing is, she might not be my type, quote unquote. But like I said, that's not like an ultimate deciding factor for me. And I think that's something for a lot of people that they don't really, they let that be an ultimate deciding factor for them. It's like, you know, for a dude, if they're like, well, if she doesn't have like a big butt, I can't date her. I'm just like, really? But she has everything else that you want in a woman, but she don't have a big butt? Like, that's kind of weird. Or like, you know, a woman would be like, oh, well, he's not six feet tall. So okay, but he has everything else you want a man. He's nice. He treats you good. He looks good. But because he's not six feet tall, you're not going to date him. To me, that's kind of weird, personally. But, like I said, everybody's allowed to have those preferences. And, like, I can't talk because, like I said, like, there's things I have and there's things I won't deal with. So it's like if a woman has, like, everything I want, but they have this one thing that I'm like, oh, I can't deal with that. So I, so I can kind of understand. It's just, to me, a lot of it be superficial stuff. Because, like, for example, with the single mom thing, that's not, like, just a regular, like, if you date a single mom, there's there's things that come with that, you know, having a child, sometimes it can be baby mama drama, there's stuff that comes with that, so I can understand, like, somebody be like, yeah, I don't date somebody with kids or whatever, but, like, just because somebody's not six feet tall or they don't got a big butt, like, that's, <laughs> to me, that's superficial stuff, you know what I'm saying, because uh, I remember why everybody, when, uh, I forgot what her name is, what that chick was interviewing with the one therapist and she said you know would you date a bus driver she was like only if you own the bus company right and everybody was mad about that because she said her preference and i felt like i was one of the only few dudes that just wasn't upset because i looked into her did research and she's like a lawyer business owner millionaire or something so it makes sense that she only wants to date men that are on her level like that makes sense to me like if she's making millions of dollars, she's not going to date somebody that's like, I don't know how much bus drivers would make, but let's say they make 20, 25 dollars an hour, depending on where they live. Yeah, that makes sense that she don't want to date somebody like that. <laughs> like, I'm not mad at her for it. It's just that's her preference. Now, I didn't watch the rest of the stuff because apparently people said that she started like going in on people that work nine to five jobs. And that's, you know, that's a different topic or a different. I can understand why people would be upset. But her just being like, yeah, no, I'm not going to date somebody that's a bus driver. That makes sense. You know, if a woman makes about six figures and she's like, yeah, I'm not going to date somebody that's like a janitor. I can't really be mad at her for that. That makes sense to me. What doesn't make sense is men and women be on the same kind of income level. And then they'd be like, like women that like work, let's say at the grocery store. And she's like, yeah, I'm not going to date somebody that works at UPS or I'm not going to date a trash collector. It's like, girl, you work at a grocery store. Who are you? Humble yourself. <laughs> Who are you? You not some, you don't make tons of money. You not some, and they make more money than you. Like you want a man that makes more money than you, they make more money than you, but you're still like, nah, because he don't got the type of job I want. I need him to make six figures. I'm like, bro, you work as a cashier. You work as a hair salon person. Like you don't be making tons of money. Humble yourself, bro. That's the problem I be having with people's standards you know or dudes that be like oh i want a, I want a woman that cooks and cleans is gonna take care of my kids but you don't make enough money to where basically she can stay at home and basically do those things full time but you want a woman to do those things full time for you and it's like okay that's fine but make enough money to where she can do that so that's all when it comes to like having standards and preferences and like say if there's good men and good women there are and it's okay to have your standards and preference but my thing for me personally, your standards and preferences should like balance each other out. So what you want in a, in a wife or a husband, you should be able to reciprocate and provide that as a, as a man or a woman. So that's all. Um, just wanted to say like, you know, don't lose hope if you don't think there's no good people out here. Just like I said, kind of change your perspective uh, and don't let social media think that there ain't no good men and women because I'm telling you, social media out here be making you think oh, men out here are dogs and women out here are cheaters and mean and i'm just like in real life it's it's not always like that so all right have a good day peace out bye